that place is one place I'm still going to go to. I don't know when. You no, know, that was the first time I tried um, contemporary stew up the hill like this. Very adventurous, you know. It's kind of, you know, giving you the village vibes, you know, the modern kind of village vibes. Hello, friends. This is Jims of Jims TV. Thank you for stopping by, and you're welcome. So before we get on to what we have for today, please, 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 for those of you who watch my videos and are not subscribed, neither do you watch my ads. I mean, fear God. I mean, this this is not a way to be nice to people. Be kind, you know. Subscribe. It's not too much, you know. You just hit the subscribe button there. It's written subscribe, so just click on it, and that's it. It's free. You don't have to pay for anything, okay? So please kindly subscribe, watch my ads, share my videos, thumbs up because I mean it helps YouTube know that oh you're really enjoying the video, and also comment, leave a comment, okay? <laughs> so you guys, about three videos ago or thereabouts, I uploaded a video. <laughs> about some of the untold truths um, about being a Nigerian in Ghana and I'll leave the link up here so you can watch it and let me know your thoughts <laughs> ah! oh people can't talk oh. Ah, so. and you got me thinking about a lot of things I mean you know how people process information you know I realize that many people just watch to bash but many people just watch to comment and just look for an avenue to, you know, vent, which is fine, which is all right. You know, look for an avenue to say all the things they've been wanting to say all this while, which is fine. But I also realized that it was just a few people that actually got the message. They didn't mean words. They said it the way it was and they responded accordingly. Do you get what I'm saying? So I think you should watch the video if you haven't. Hey, you people brought serious violence. <laughs> violence. I've not seen such violence on my channel before. But yeah, it's all good. Um, we learn every day. So um, in today's video, we're going to be talking about my journey in Ghana so far. Or my journeys. My journey, my journey in Ghana so far. Now I'm talking about actual journey. Yes, my actual journey. You know, places I've been to, um, how many regions I've visited so far, and all of that. So I hope you enjoy, and of course, as usual, learn a thing or two. Okay. So as the Ajala traveler that I am, note that some of these places, right? I visited them way before I even thought of being a YouTuber. Okay. So um yeah I'll just I, I may not have pictures or videos to show but um yeah I visited the place you have to believe me <laughs> okay please ignore any backy here they're probably too excited I don't know. of course the first place I ever visited in Ghana was <laughs> Accra which is in the greater Accra region of course yeah I live in Accra you see Accra everywhere in my videos so Accra is just uh, Accra is a nice place um, but people tend especially foreigners people some foreigners they tend to feel like Accra is the whole of Ghana once you mention Ghana the first place they think of is Accra and that is not the case okay so we're here to sort of you know enlighten you a little bit that Accra is not all there is in Ghana right it's just like Nigeria once you think of Nigeria the first thing you think of is Lagos but I don't think it's as bad as that of Ghana because they're yeah, just like Ghana where else can I go it's just Accra but that's not the case Accra is a good place pretty rowdy pretty stressful <laughs> but mm, it's okay it has it's a capital city so it has virtually everything you can think of in terms of amenities places to visit and all of that so it's pretty cool so the second place i ever visited in ghana ever was sefi from Jibre, which is as of then i was told it was in the western region okay so i always had it at the back of my mind that it was the western region but i soon found out that it is western north okay but i was told that um that was changed just a few years ago so sefi umjibra is in 
the western north of Ghana, western north region. Okay, so I've been there. Mm, it's a, I would say it's a village. I'm told it's like a town now. Like it's it's a pretty nice place now but it was kind of you know giving you the village vibes you know the modern kind of village vibes <laughs> if you get what i'm saying so um it was really cool um first time i went i went during the festivities that's december christmas time and it was good it was it was fun that was my first ever typical Ghanaian encounter if you get what I mean so you know that was the first time I tried um contumary stew that was the first time I was actually trying for food yeah that was the first time I was trying for food and a few other meals I'll, I'll put the pictures here so you can see um what I'm saying then I also visited Sechi um Awasu if I'm if that is correct but I always knew it as Awasu yeah so um I visited the bauxite company um, other areas so, so for those of you who are familiar with um, that side um, Bekwai, Sechi, that area you should know the bauxite companies up the hill like this very adventurous you know um, it's very nice when you're climbing the hill when you're driving up the hill I stayed there for a couple of days and it was so so much fun very cold very cold and area I guess because it's up the hill so obviously it'd be cold and yeah it's the i think that's the area where the bauxite staff stay okay so i stayed with one of their managers there and it was really really nice i liked the place but i don't think i have pictures of of that place but uh, I, I still have the memories that they're, they're still very crisp and clear in my brain so yeah i, I had a good time then i've also visited still in the western north I already uploaded a video of my visit to Bibiani. Bibiani, I even made a mistake that it was in Western region. I was corrected that it's Western North. Okay, so Bibiani, nice, cool. I didn't explore as much. I was mostly indoors. I'll leave the link up here. Or, you know what, guys, just look in the description. You'll see all the links to all of these videos and um, places I'm talking about. Okay, then I've been to the central region so <laughs> that place is one place i'm still going to go to i don't know when but i really need to go back to the central region so i only went in a day for the sole purpose of visiting the kakum national park and the elmina castle and it was a cool place like i said i didn't go for please excuse the noise i'm so sorry about the noise okay i'm really really sorry about this usually doesn't happen so i'm sorry um it was a nice place nice drive i made a friend with a taxi driver so i'm sure i'll call him anytime you know i have anything to do in the central region cape coast you know specifically um i also passed by the maximum prison if i'm correct i'll get the name and put it um on the screen i passed by and the driver told me that was maximum prison or something and yeah it was okay and the driver was complaining that you see there are no jobs per se in cape coast that's what he said and that you know probably if he had the opportunity he would leave you know cape coast and go somewhere else but i said the town is good i mean it's a lovely place so yeah they have quite a number of tourist attractions as well i mean that's why i went there in the first place so i think it's a good place i will definitely be staying now the next place is Akosombo. I've visited Akosombo quite a number of times before and after I started YouTube. Okay, Akosombo is a very very amazing place. You know why? It's just like a small town where in my head I feel like everyone knows everybody. <laughs> you know everybody. There's just one filling station there, one fuel station. If I'm correct, it's total. If you a market. A few shops here and there it's just a town that it's just so cute <laughs> i don't know how to explain it so i was told that um i don't know if it's ukuma or please oh, don't quote me if you know the correct thing put it in the comment section but i think a past president also built it for the workers 
during his regime or so i'm not too sure okay but i heard something like that so it's just a town small small houses bungalows here and there have i seen two stories i'm not very sure about that very quiet place cool Although, the first time I had this discussion with someone who grew up there, I was like, oh, I think things are cheap in Akusum. But she was like, no, she grew up there, oh, things are not cheap. I don't know, but I just like the place. I, I really like the place. Airy, um, because of the location. Very good place, honestly. You should actually visit. It has nice tourist attractions. Um, it has very nice hotels and beautiful sites. Um, I, I have a whole playlist for Akosombo experience on my channel. So I'll leave everything down in the description so you can watch and, you know, have a good time. So Akosombo is in the eastern region. Did I mention that? Yes. And Cape Coast is in the central region. Yes. That Another place I've visited about... Mm, See three times or more. Yeah, is Kumasi, which is the capital of the Ashanti region. Very beautiful place. Quite busy, quite big. I wanted to say if I was given the option of living between Kumasi and Accra, I would prefer Kumasi. But uh, Kumasi is not as what's the right word to use so that you people don't come for me anything i say i have to be careful should i say as exposed pardon me if 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 you get what i mean a crab virtually has everything you can sit in your house and just order some box of donuts somewhere you can just sit in your house order a pack of juice you know things are just kind of easy in a crab but Kumasi, i'm not too sure I heard there's now boats in Kumasi. It's a pretty busy place, so I and I like it. I like it. Um, of course, it's tree galore. I'm speaking tree, left, right, center, all over the place, and all that. <laughs> so um, that's like the home of trees. So you can't escape, you know, speaking tree or interacting in tree. Um, usually I stay indoors uh, most of the time so I don't really go out as much but they have quite a number of um, tourist attraction they have the Kumasi Zoo which is like the biggest zoo in Ghana if I'm correct they have the Okom Akom for Akom Akom for Anoche site sword sites <laughs> Oh, the KJTR market, which is, I think, the biggest indoor market in West Africa. Yes. And we have quite a number of interesting places to go to. I've not explored Kumasi like I should, but I still obviously will have more opportunities to go. So far, I've visited six regions, which is quite impressive uh, because in nigeria how many states have i visited i've said i grew up in lagos was born in lagos virtually had all my life in lagos then i went to university in all your states if i don't be precise then i camped in enugu yeah my yc camp i did it in enugu which is in the eastern part of nigeria i've been to Ogun state Ogun state is just <laughs> close to lagos i've been to delta states i went there twice i, I went there for um evangel well yeah evangelism sort of a camp you know as well, i was a teenager then so yeah two different years yeah um so yeah i think that's all yeah i've been to so i went to two different cities or two different towns in delta state i went to adabrasa and Onichibo. Yeah, oh, don't give back memories. Oh my goodness. So, the final, well, the last place I went to, which was very recently, was in the northern region of Ghana and the capital city, which is Tamale. I love Tamale. Now, my only problem with tam Tamale is the sun. Honestly, I think when I went, I went at the right time. God just ordered my steps because it rained. It was not all that sunny it was just fine it was just like a cry in my opinion so that sun i'm really scared of it but <laughs> but other than that tamale was good tamale was good 
so you guys if you want to know more about tamale i have a whole playlist for tamale go check it out go and know everything about tamale and enjoy it because i mean it's a beautiful place so i hope you enjoyed my little chit chat and my um journeys around ghana so far um it's been good it's been nice um some i went by flight some by road um so overall it's been good hopefully um by the mercies and grace of god i'll be able to explore more regions and more cities and yeah of course i'll definitely bring it on here for you to watch and of course learn something so thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you in my next video bye